Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Quarantine. Last time we were on, we went to go to a dungeon that was recommended to us by Marlo. And when we got there, we found a bunch of books at the bottom level of the dungeon. That increased our elemental resistance parameter by two. A bunch of treasure chests, books, healing items, resurrects. It was great. It was a wonderful find. Probably the best thing that we have come across in a dungeon by far with just the amount of books that we got. And now, I'm not really sure what we're going to go do. We have a ton of missions and we have more mail and I'm pretty sure the mail is going to be the responses that we also did uh, a couple videos back. Those last two videos were kind of all in one go though. I recorded them all on the same day because uh, we had a, a delay in recording. But feeling a lot better now. Back to my old self and ready to get in the game. So without further ado, let's check our mail. Ooh, responses. Wise man, I'm a friend. In addition to lima beans, I really don't like carrots either. But yesterday, when I was eating curry, I accidentally ate some carrots. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I really don't know why I hated them. Food. I couldn't eat mushrooms before, but when I actually tried, it was pretty good. Carrots. I don't like them, especially half-boiled. Eww. <laughs> food. Let's, let's try and relate with the fact that they're both picky eaters. Who have no reason to be picky eaters. Send an email. If there's anything I'm a picky eater about, it's cauliflower. I'm not a big fan of raw cauliflower or raw broccoli, but I will eat them if they're cooked. Heroes Time Machine. I don't know about the meaning of life, but I've thought about a time machine. Ooh, fair eyes, my friend. I've always given this thought. If a time machine were to be created, then this moment, right now, should exist right here. Right? You follow? Maybe it already exists. Impossible. I don't know the details, but I've read that it's physically impossible to build one. Send the email. Let's crush his hopes and dreams. Sanjiro's response to yeah at a Cardania apparently also was yeah. Let me hear about it. Well, Mr. Mifun makes an appearance in this film as well. It's a period piece, but he isn't a samurai in this one. He's a doctor named Redbeard. I love samurai movies, so I was disappointed at first, but he was oh so cool. What kind? It's not a samurai period piece, right? What kind of story is it? Or beard is red? Red beard's beard is red? We're completely... No, we should ask him more about the movie. I need to know the small details. Was his beard red? Was Red Beard's beard red? God, I just can't sleep without knowing if Red Beard's beard was red. Get out of here. That response. Gardenia response to yeah. I like them. I see. I went to see the flower fields, but they become greenhouses. The flowers were also beautiful, but seemed to be suffocating. It was a sad sight to see. I see. That's kind of sad. Or imagination. That's just your imagination. I don't want to insult her, so let's go with the I see. That's kind of sad. There we go. Natsumi. Beforehand. You're pretty clumsy. Just take a deep breath before you hold the bar. I see. Well now. 
and I feel like I'll be able to hang on next time. I actually suck at sports. I can rationalize in my head, but my body just won't follow. The day before track and field day, I'd always get sick. I'm so bad. Good. Everyone's good at different things, so you shouldn't worry too much. Well, you think for us. Just gotta give it a moment. I thought I was gonna go a different direction. With good. I was like, good. I'm glad you suck at these things. Oh, come on. There it goes. Jesus Christ. Do you train? If you don't have the basic physical strength, you can't do much. Uh, let's just ask her that. It's a question. Continues the conversation. And it did it again. The hell? Send email, yes. Moonstone! What is it? Did something happen to the puppy? It's sprinkling. I took a jog in the park. Didn't see the puff today. Wonder where he is. Raining. It's raining, so it must be taking shelter somewhere. But yeah, I'm worried too. Slept in. It's a puppy. I'm sure it just slept in late. That's what puppies do. They sleep. At least that's what my mom told me about mine. When she, she before she took it to the farm. Let's do this one. Alright, uh, Rachel. Where's Mod's B-Day money? I save up the money I get from my grandparents for birthday. I wonder how much I have. No way! You're asking them to manage it, are you? Oh, you're not asking them to manage it, are you? No problem. I bought a bike the other day with the money I saved. I wonder how much I have. Oh, I've got this much. I wanna go spend it on something. Really? I'm getting worried now. I don't know what any of that's about. We'll just tell her we spent the money. I bought a bike the other day with the money I saved. Send email. I don't really use it because I'm mainly a shut-in who likes to play video games because, you know, trying to save the world and all. But I bought a bike. Marlo, that's true. But I'm just trying to do the best I can from the options that I have. Still, the optimistic fella. A bit moody, but ain't bad. Jaded. You're really jaded, you know that? I know. I can tell by looking at you. Or else, I wouldn't ask you to come along. Uh... Should we call him jaded? He seems like the sensitive type. I'll just do the I know. Send it over to him. Really, if I call him jaded, he's gonna get all bent out of shape. I think even no matter what we say, he's gonna wind up getting bent out of shape. Hey, it's a new board post. What's it for? Uh, new Let's Play Tag. Oh, that's right, because we did just beat the, the tag portion. Last one, Gob. From Zane X. Too bad, Gob. No matter who wins, it's the last one, Gob. Th though thought last one was the... <laughs> though... Th though thought... Though thought last one was the last one, Gob. Well, good luck to both, Gob. Be waiting at detestable, elusive scent, Gob. Bring a party, Gob. Why did I get stuck on that though thought? Is that it? Was it just that one? It was. Logan! We're not gonna go do uh, another Golden Gob tag event. We have missions to do. We have actually missions in another server too. Maybe I should check to see like what the level 
of the next one is let's see raging facing mirrors virgin was the area that was invited by both black rose and terajima i have a bad feeling about this level 85 <laughs> let's go check the other servers we're level 80 let's go here we're gonna go mach anu Back to the beginner server. Wonder if I can find any more of the anime characters just running about. Like how we found uh, Bear and Mimaru. Uh, ba ba, word list. Reincarnated Purgatorial Altar. Area revealed by Tartarga, an inhabitant of Netslum. Wandering AI Herald headed here. Level 90. <laughs> Not gonna do that out of pure curiosity though. I wanna walk around and just see if I see anybody else. Tayada, Maggie. You know, I still have a treasure item too that I have yet to trade to someone. Terry. Terria. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's that one lady. Oh, uh, we got, is that Crest? No, Benki, Nija, Mutsuki. Uh, we got Quest. Let's go back the alleyway, see what we can find back here. If anybody. Uh, no one. And then we're gonna go check the traders in the back and see what they got going on. You can usually find a, uh, well, who's that? Cossack leader. You can usually find a person who is looking for major trade stuff. There's Panta, Anari, and Oborozukiyo. Anari! You, I believe, I traded everything for, yep. And you've got the Super Wolfy, which we've already got. Uh, Panta. Oh, has divine hands I could get off of him. Level 94. Great for heavy people. What do you want for it, Panta? I don't have an ice bar. We don't need that. Pure waters. I'll go get him. Yeah, jerk. And uh, this guy doesn't have anything super special. I'm gonna go get those pure waters. I'm still convinced maybe I'll run into one. Pure water. I have 10. I think he wanted 12. So we can't get it. Well then. Since we're here. Take this one holy sap. Alright. Oh, uh, we'll get it another once too. What all wait. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna be doing. We got another server to go to. And that is this one here. Back to the city in the clouds. Fort Oof. Uh, hmm. Grid Koji. I don't know why I started walking around. We came here to check to see. Or word list, because there's things here. Breathing Sage's Walkway. Apparently we did the Graceful Tempting Fallen Angel. Oh, this is the one area that Moonstone said we should go to. That's level 85. We're not doing that just yet. Nameless Pseudo Sea of Sand, area with job request from Rachel's Rescue Service is level 80. That seems like something that we could do. And guess what? That's what we're gonna do. Nameless Pseudo Sea of Sand. We need Rachel with us. And one other. So let's go get them. Rachel. Rachel. The Blade Master. She's level 78. I'm level 80. I think maybe we can get through it. Thanks for inviting me. Today I'll make a fortune. Uh huh. And uh, who else should we invite? Who's the next lowest level? Uh, Mia's still leveling up for some reason, even though she's not here. 
Uh, Marlo, 476, so he's at 79, 78, we've got 891, 838, 838's the winner so far, 838, 838, oh, 548, it's gonna be Mistral, it's probably gonna be here for this other event, for this time here, and then maybe... This is where she'll catch up to everybody. Mistral's fine and dandy with equipment, and I think Rachel might be too. Level 61, level 69, level 79, level 74, level 64. There are some things that she could do better, but in all honesty, I think she's okay. So uh, let me just check and see. I have 33 items. I need to go take care of this. So I... We'll be right back. And we're back! Alright, so we traded everything, I upgraded Rachel's equipment, and some of Mistral's. Even though she's got level 90 armor, she still didn't have leg armor that's uh, level 90. So we get that up to 76, and I think most of Rachel's is now 60 and above as well. So yeah, let's continue forth, shall we? Go on to her little area that she wants us to go to. Go to our wordless, nameless, pseudo sea of sand. It's a level 80 earth area. So that'll be fun. Oh, level 80. We're level 80. They're, they're level 78. I'm pretty sure. Mistral's level 78 too. This looks like a grassy place. This doesn't look like a deserty place. Alright, let's get ourselves out of Fairy's Orb. Uh, we got some place right behind us. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a strengthen. And strengthen uh, myself. <laughs> Strengthen up Mistral as well, because she is our wave master. She will be playing the supporting role. And why the hell not? We'll give it to Rachel because Mistral's gonna cast Rick Saint. There we go, now resistant to lightning attack and have passive healings for our energy and our health. Hey, our first thing is a risky treasure. We're in a level 80 area. I think we're going to find level 80 equipment. Nope, we found a resurrect. But we have 99 of those, and we don't need them anymore. Let's go to this portal. What's here? What's behind this portal? It's a bug. Everyone, use your skills. I'm going to do the same with my weakened ability that I am going the wrong direction on to put it to sleep. Just gonna go right back to where Mistral's gonna absolutely annihilate it with lightning attacks. Uh, it's data broken. This is the first time in this area that we've seen one. Let's data drain it. Got a virus core L out of it, which is perfect. Perfectly fine. Where are you going, little guy? Where are you, where are you trying to get away from me? Trying, trying to go away from me? So there you have it. That was the first portal. Now, let's go see what the battle at the last portal looks like. And we're back, heading on our way to the last portal, which is over here by the dungeon. Gonna take Aqua Grunty to get over there. Where is it? Around here somewhere, it's gonna activate. There it is. Giant starfish guy. dungeon with the exception of the peacock lady uh, we've seen the pumpkin heads we have seen starfish guys which is what we're fighting right now uh, and we saw the mantis dude which is also uh, who we saw at the first fight but mistral we just cleared through this 
with no problem. <laughs> Especially when we came across the pumpkin heads because of Mistral's attack. She just one shots them. That's all it needs. It's just one of them has to get locked on. It also has a AOE damage, so it damages the ones near each other. The name of the client is Taro, I believe. Ah. Let's go look for Taro. Hey, Taro. Can we find Ham Taro? All right, uh, let's go ahead and... There's one. Clear our way through the dungeon. That room's got two treasure chests in it. Big, empty... Oh, wait. Nope, there's someone standing in front of us. Who's this? Hello! It's the Rachel Rescue Service! Is this Tara? Good timing! My friend Jiro is stuck on the lowest level. Oh, we're looking for Jiro. He's being attacked by monsters, correct? Alright, we'll go rescue him right up. No! He defeated the monster, but he ran out of Resurrect. Can you deliver this to him? We're back to being delivery service. Here we go, we're just gonna watch the loud lightning boom. And I'm gonna try to minimize that one. Mistral just destroys. Very good. Lovers and Stone Swarm. And the moon. So I haven't really come across any equipment that is useful. It's all just been kind of spells and items. Which we're at kind of max on our items. on uh, Earth. Elemental places. This recovery drink. Recovery drink, which we don't need. Some tarot cards. Like, I'll take the items if we need the items, but... Oh, hey, chimeras! Everyone use your skills. I gotta watch out for... Uh, them to charm everybody. I could actually do this. Switch to Mistral. Rock and first aid. I'll use my skills. first aid because she's gonna move a lot quicker than I am with getting people uncharmed. The hanged man. Here we are, second level. I'm gonna guess this has four levels. Just lovers, sorry. And of course, we're gonna hit every portal that we can along our way. 
gonna break everything in break rooms. I'm not gonna really focus on breaking everything in just regular rooms. Just for the sake of saving time. Mayor may have gotten a charm off. Regime. He himself, Regime Mistral. Regime. Uh, Rachel's fine. She doesn't really use abilities all that often that it's like draining her, so we're just gonna leave her as is. Get the lovers, and what's over here? What tarot card is it? The hangman? It's a stone swarm. It's just a regular old roll spell. I was like, there's fortune water. Ocean gloves. That's the first equipment that we've come across. Oh, it's not. Never mind. We got sea grease before. Level 60 old crap that we're finding in a level 80 area. How nice. Stone swarm. Gonna be in the portal. Skills. Why am I missing so much? It's as if my accuracy got affected or something. It's like I've got no accuracy. pumpkin guys too. I can cast spells. The strongest spells that I have are dark. It's not gonna really affect them much. But it's just better for Mistral to go out there and lightning bolt them. Cause I got no lightning spells. I got three dark spells, an earth and a fire. of real use. Let's go to the next room. It's a pumpkin head. Hit him with those skills. And Zubane. And again, it's just not 
lock it on. This is terrible, dude. My accuracy on this all of a sudden has just plummeted. Yeah, I don't understand why. I was hitting these all the time. And now all of a sudden it's just like, man. Let's not. Let's not have you hit any of it. Maybe now that I'm level 81, it'll start hitting. Final box for the spell or tarot card that we don't need. There we go. And let's move on. Ferris Orb. Ah, yeah, we can go down to a fourth floor. What's this? There's a person here. What's going on, Hanako? I got a message from a friend to get items. Where are they? By one floor lower. Use those skills. I'll use mine by switching my equipment to Miracle Twins. And just annihilating them with orchestra. of one. something. I wield the cosmic truth. Uh, let's go into using our skills and I'm gonna change my equipment to stealth blades. And we're going to attempt to use weakened magic in order to put the starfish to sleep. We succeeded this time. And now I'm going to stand here and bombard it with fire spells without moving as to not activate the portal in the black of the room. Let's just keep hitting them over and over again. Take that, you sleepy starfish. Boom, boom, you have been defeated with the greatest of ease. And now for you! Giant floating eyes, which I hate so damn much. I'm actually going to switch Mistral to first aid, and me and Rachel are gonna go ahead and this. I'm gonna separate myself from them because he's gonna cast something rather spicy. But I need to put him to sleep. Or paralyze him, I forget which one. Something so it's really a Ooh, playing D4. 
defense. Oh, I just keep attempting to do this. Let's try Subi and see if that worked at all. Nope. You know what, you bastard? How about this? How about I just hit you with the hang, man? I know, I hit you with the moon. There we go. That seemed to work better than mine did. And then they're magic tolerant. Just gonna beat him up. They don't have any water abilities, nothing that he's weak against. So this is just all we're gonna do. Just gonna keep swinging at him. This is the first time we've encountered one of these here on this area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and data drain it. We got a Kiki and Lala, which we don't really need. Uh... Get out of here. Uh, let's strengthen up Rachel with a Rickeem. And then might as well Rickeem myself and Mistril because. We're out. Ricky, Mystery. I hate those giant floating eyeballs. That fire attack is so devastating. Just absolutely wipes my party. It one shots Rachel. Alright, um, let's go see what the other room has. forgot what the trader's name is too. Or the NPC's name. Not really a trader. Just just an NPC. Just a non-player character. Might as well be a trader. That's really all they're there for. Uh let's go ahead with a fairies or Oh, there's five floors. The plot has thickened. And the dungeon it has deepened. A moon! Oh boy! Skills! Run away this way! Now let's go with this drill. Change to first aid. Um, then I'm gonna go over here and we'll just we'll use the moon. Instead of attempting constantly. There you go. Ooh, Mistral needs that. She's got it. Sweet. And with the moon again. There's the death plans. There goes Rachel. The moon! God damn you, hit already! Oh no, Mistral! She also is going to need... To have her SP full too, because she's not exactly useful and she can't heal. Where is it? Empress Soul. You got hit with a death effect, so I'm just gonna go in. Blade with the death effect comes in handy too. Alright, Regime, back to Mistral. Skip right over Rachel. Regime, Rachel. Get one of those giant flying eye guys here in these dungeons and these tiny hallways. Deadly. So deadly. Need bigger rooms, but I don't even like running into it in a big room. Here we go, Miracle Twin. Here comes I'm my team. Get with that orchid strike. Boom. Over here, hit him with that orchid strike. Boom. Just 
destroyed. Mr. Leveled up. Fortune wire. The moon. Golden egg. What's in here? It's a fish. It's a starfish. Change my equipment, get my death blades out, and then we're just gonna go over here and try to put it to sleep. And we're just gonna go over here and oh god, try to put it to sleep. Summon an earth thing just to absolutely destroy the starfish. That's cool. I'm just gonna use my fire drops. I'm gonna drop these fiery bricks on you. Meanwhile, Mistral's gonna bend earth itself in order to destroy you. Uh, Mistral hit us with that first aid. Oh yeah. What's inside another kiki 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 What's going on in here? What do we got? Dear God, that's another floating eyeball! Double that skills! And then I'm gonna run over here this way. And then we're gonna go and I'm gonna whoop, over to Mistral, switch her to first aid. And I'm gonna try and put you to sleep. Go to sleep. Go, go to sleep. Moon him! Oh my god! There goes Rachel, dead. Hit him with a moon! There we go, now they're asleep. Let's go beat him up! Beat him up! Beat him up! Beat him up! Do it! Got nothing else to do. It's just all this now. This is a lot quicker than you launching my attacks. You just stay asleep while we just constantly slash ya. And gotta redeem myself, and I'm sure I'm gonna have to redeem these strewl as well. Actually, probably not, because she died, which is why I did that. So. The timing of it all is a bit off. Fortune wire, get this open. Give me an item. It's Ice Lake Mail, that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead here, it's the Fool. Hey, all right, and what do we got in this one? It's Cosmic Truth, yet again, here to tell you about the wonders that is the cosmos and how real everything is out there. Giant floating space, space turtles, they exist out there. Did you know that? Well, Cosmic Truth did. You may think that all planets are round, but you would be wrong. They're actually sphere-shaped. Gonna let that one sink in a bit. Most of you call them moons that orbit around planets, but guess what? They're not. They're actually ships that are just circling around the planet waiting to kill it. You probably think rainbows can exist out in space, but guess what? You're wrong! They're everywhere, and that's actually a menace in causing extinctions worldwide. Worlds wide! Uh, you just yell! Gotta go over this way away from them! Uh, I did it again! Uh, Mistral! Use first aid! Make sure that we don't get attacked by some jerk who gets. Charmed by the eyes. The moon! Alright, back to using the sticks. Back to going over here and just doing this. Over and over again. I'm just gonna get some space between me and Rachel, cause she's gonna go crazy. 
or is she just gonna get commented to death? One of the two. Here it comes, here comes her death. And she's out of here. Melee. Melee. Oh no, Mr. Don't get that close. Melee. Stop being a total bitch. Uh, move in there. Come on, goddammit. Rachel again? Jesus. She's woed by the eyelids. Oh, they're both gonna die when he launches a fire attack. I can already see this happening. Oh, she did it again. to the fire attack. And there she goes. Rachel's dead. Moomelee! Ow. Jerk. Moomelee! Oh god, Rachel's gonna die again. Moomelee! Fucking hell. God, it's like... She's charmed again. This is a nightmare. Yeah. Now I need one of these. And let's get it with a movement lead. Hey, actually, this time. Jesus Christ. Attack. Attack him. Get him out of here. Hurry it up, Rachel. Swing faster. Ah, it's like a giant tumor of eyeballs and wings. Oh. Beat those things. All right, let's uh, strengthen up. Redeem. Redeem myself. Redeem, Rachel. Go to the next area and hope it's not a giant flying eyeballs. That's flying eyeballs again, goddammit! Right. Use your skills, everyone who's not me. Mistral, switch to first aid. You're better off there. Uh, put him to sleep. Oh god, she can't really heal, and I'm stuck. Restorative. Rachel. Oh god, she was on one health. Mamele! There we go, so much better. Rachel, this is a restaurant. Oh, come on, get him. Come on, there you go, death effect. So much better. This is such a better run than the last one. There we go, we still got one more floor of this. We'll probably run into like five more of these damn eyeball-y testicles along the way. We got a fool! Let's go over here and grab a golden egg. Golden egg. I don't need you for any reason. I'm gonna hoard you in my key items and you'll never be used. Keep going! Down we go. It's basement five. Is there going to be a six? Is there? there no it doesn't look like it okay good and look only one more portal what's the worst that could come through this one definitely not gonna be eyes oh thank god it was nice it was a treasure chest they're gentle on us all dungeon portals have been open we got the cosmic truth to tell us more truth about the cosmos what do you have for us this time cosmic truth any rings around planets are actually cancer it's just floating rings of cancer around planets. 
Well, thank you, Cosmic Truth. That was disappointing. Kind of sad. Now there's, there's sad space cancer out there. Cosmic Truth back again with another thing. The Milky Way Galaxy is actually a lot cooler than where we live. Alright. This kind of judgmental over is more of an opinion than a beat by a factual truth. At this point, Cosmic Truth's a real dick. I don't even want to hear him anymore. And what's in the God Statue's treasure chest? Spirit Dragon, a Silver Scarab, and an Ivory Beret. Oh uh, boy. Alright, let's just get into the room where we need to see this person. We're here. You needed a resurrect. Hello! I'm Rachel from the Rescue Service! I gave you a resurrect. Oh, you guys are from the delivery service. A rescue service. Oh, a rescue service. Yeah, it changed. We were branding differently. Whatever. Anyway, my item list is full. Uh-huh. I want you to take the items I don't need to my friend on B3. Ah. Uh. No, our job is to rescue people. We're not here to deliver items. If you don't take the items, I can't continue. So this is legitimate rescuing, right? Here. Well, let's get you there, Rachel. Rachel received numerous items. Hey, all of these? It's a lot of junk items, too. A player called Hanako should be on B3, so give it to her. Thanks. There she is. We saw her on the way through. And it's not over yet. Hey, how about that? But at least there's no portals or monsters. It's not like it's gonna start over once we get up to B4, right? <laughs> right? Oh god, don't start over, please. Okay, good. Hey, Hanako, you bastard. Here we are. You're the courier, right? Thank you. Sure. I'm not a courier! Yeah, you are now. This is your fee for the delivery. Woohoo! 5,000. Rachel this also gets that. This dungeon is pretty big, so didn't it take you time? Thank yes. you so much, you guys are great. Lots of time. We turned into an item delivery service in the end. It wasn't supposed to be this way. No, you got paid either way. I think it's all right. She was very happy that we helped. Did you see the <laughs> smile on her That's face? That's right. No matter what the job is, if there are clients that are happy, then it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm not dying inside. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let's go back. And we did it. We conquered an area. I think we leveled up twice. Maybe I leveled up once, they leveled up twice. Oh, I leveled up twice. Yeah, because I was 80 going in there. Now we're level 82. All right. And we got Rachel and Mistral that levels 81. So that's just wonderful. Means we're going to be all the more stronger to take on other areas of higher level. I can't believe my weaken abilities were just not hitting. That was just so bad. That was just all poor, low accuracy rolls on my side, which shouldn't even be. Like, if we go to stats, my magical accuracy is a 68. It's not that low, it's above average. I should be hitting most of my shots. But Jesus. Land already. Anyways, that is gonna do it for me thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next game of dunhack quarantine goodbye